physical. So if you gon' need a rest, to make sure you stay this slow. So baby, can't stay this slow. Can't be honest, this is the greatest thing I've made. It don't matter what you're doing, you're saving. You can get back to it later. Later, later, later. You can take some of this flavor. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Yes, welcome, 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 y'all, to the Real Recognize Real Talk radio show. Thank you guys for tuning in. Always supporting the ladies of the Real Recognize Real Talk radio show. I'm Franchella, and in the absence of my co host, Lynette. Um, she's out doing a couple of things, and we miss you, Lynette. Um, I've got two beautiful ladies that's going to be holding me down today. I truly appreciate them. But today, guys, is an open forum. We're going to be talking about all kinds of different things, different topics. So if you want to join in and be a part of this conversation because you either have a question or you got something to say, you got your opinion because everybody's opinion counts then um, please go into the comment section and our website content manager, Liz, thank you, Liz, will be putting that in the chat. So check it out and we welcome you. So welcome, ladies. Let me introduce these beauties. First, we have Erica. Hi, Erica. Hi, good evening, Fantella. Good evening, Queen. Um, Thank you for having me. That's all I want to say. So thank you so much. Yes. I'm excited. And we have Kimberly as well. Hi, Kimberly. Hey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yes. Thank you, ladies, for joining. These two beautiful ladies are um, the new founded chapter of the New Jersey Diamond Divas. So we are, if you guys don't know, you should follow us, go on our Diamond Divas page or follow us individually because we are doing some wonderful things, not just exciting and fun in the sisterhood, but also in the community. So check us out, y'all. Uh, once again, ladies, thank you for being a part of this, this conversation. All right. So I had to move my chair over now. I don't know what I just did. I just jumped up. But anyway, <laughs> first we want to say today is... Um, going out to vote today is election day i hope everybody got a chance to go out to to vote because your vote do count um mm -hmm. it's it's so funny because i watched the spoof the other day about um an election and how all the friends they were all getting ready to go out to to vote they were all going together they was all excited meanwhile one of the friends um, a guy, he stopped because he got a phone call. He said, wait a minute, y'all, I'll be right there. And he picked up the phone. And of course, it was some female on the other line uh, talking sweet nothings to him, telling him to come over and what she going to do and this and that. And so she went. he went over to her house and they, you know, whatever they was getting ready to do, the next morning, he's watching the news and it says that this person one that they didn't want to win one and was one less vote which would have been him but because he got sidetracked so y'all mm -hmm. don't be getting sidetracked okay <laughs> it's vote. so important to vote um so what what do you what do you ladies um want to tell the audience about the importance of 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 voting not just the presidential election which is very important but the the smaller elections because they are the ones that are are in our communities and can help us with what's going on in our local states. Well, for me, I think it's very important to vote and very important to educate yourself on the topics that matter um, all the way around, not just the topics that matter to you, but the topics that matter 
you know, just in general in your area. Um, also, just making sure that, you know, you hear both sides, because if you don't know the opposite side, how are you going to, you know, make things better? You know, like you just right. can't be one sided. You have to know the opposite sides, um, focus and opinion as well. So for me, right. I try to keep myself educated as much as I, you know, can on the topics. And I mm -hmm. just stick to my guns. Like I have to listen to both sides. Um, I made sure I voted this morning before anything, any obstacle got in my way. Um, whether it's, you know, yeah. with my customers or lunch or anything like that. I said, no, that's the first thing I'm going to do when I step out this door is I'm going to go ahead and vote and make sure it counts. So for exactly. me, I think it's just the important thing is just to know both sides and just keep yourself educated. And if you don't know something, just ask questions. Because I mean, or, you know, just trying to be um, knowledgeable in a political right. space. Sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. So mm -hmm. just to keep yourself knowledgeable, like, that's what I say. Always hear both sides to every story. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. For me, I believe it's extremely important because our ancestors stood in those lines for eternity, just trying to um, be able to vote. And it's it's something that is it has been earned. Um, we didn't have, mm -hmm. we weren't able to do it prior, but now we can. So we need to take right. that right. And we need to, you know, use our voice. People went through right. hell for us to have this opportunity to be able to be heard. Um, and in my community today, it was really something because a lot of the um, the voter places that you go to, they were like kind of mm -hmm. discouraging people, like because like you would go to the wrong place and it's like, oh, that's this is not my place. I need to go to this number or that number. Oh, well, you're at the wrong place. And I got a lot of calls today of people saying, I'm frustrated. I don't want to go because they messed up. I got there and that wasn't where I was supposed to be. And every time I got a call, I was just like, listen here, you need to do whatever you need to do to go mm -hmm. and make the vote matter. Just for the simple fact of what our people did to let us be able to do this so that's my take on it and um my children i'm like yo you must yes, vote. Right. i remind <laughs> that's them, right like, yeah yep. today, today right. for myself i didn't feel good i didn't even go to work today but i made sure i made my vote so right it's, it's that okay. important it's that important no absolutely and and so i mean the last few years after so I, I actually say that, you know, I always respected both parties um, until recently after um, Obama finished his term and we had another president. The country is just so divided. Um, people are divided on so many levels. I mean, it, it's it's been really, really bad. Um, and so with that, it's like, I think people are more now geared on, I hear what Erica was saying about listen to both sides and understand both sides. Because again, you're registered as a Democrat, but you feel as though this Republican, you know, is, is speaking truth and you believe them and what they stand for and what, what you know, changes on it. You might vote for that particular person. Um but nowadays, it's just so divided among that um, it, it it just saddens me, you know, that the way this the, the way the country is going. We're supposed to be the United States of America, and it's, it's nothing united about America right now. Um, so it's it's very important. I mean, they're trying to take away so many different things and so many rights. Um, with with women and and um, you know the LBGT community, it's mm -hmm. just it's just a lot, y'all. I mean, we can talk about that for days when it comes to the division. And you'll be surprised how many people are not educated and don't even understand what voting is all about. You know, and that's right. something that that we need to um, kind of 
really enforce and, and help our, our um, urban communities and people and our families to understand what's going on, what some of the laws that, that are, you know, forced that affect us, you know, people really are, right. are ignorant. They're not knowledgeable about what their vote, what their vote means. No, and question exactly. the politicians There's... that come out, like when they come right. out and knock on doors or when they call and constantly call your cell phone. And if you really want to have that conversation and, and have that, you know, um, deep conversation, ask questions like, what are you doing for our community? What are you doing for the black and brown community? Like I had right. someone knock on my door and I opened it. I knew who it was because I can clearly tell. And I'm like, OK. What can you do for for me? What what are you mm -hmm. doing for you know the township that I'm in to be more diverse? Mm. Right. I'm I go to the business you know advisory. I want to know what you're doing for this community to be more diverse, to be more unified, not one sided. That's what I want to know. Mm. And and you know involved in rotary and things like that. What are you doing for us? Right. That's what I want to know. And if they can't answer that then we need to move on. I need to, you know, get some more education on it, get some more knowledge on it. So, yeah. Right. So just a, 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 challenge them. Right. You, you do have to challenge them, but I, I don't think, I don't know, especially the 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 younger generation, um, they don't care enough, you know? Um, and I think we, we have to start, I mean, this, a lot of these discussions need to be, in the school about the importance of, of voting. Not, not you know, we, we can't tell people who to vote for or what party to vote for, but the importance of them understanding what's at risk in our communities. And, you know, for them to understand that and to, to get the literature, to, to read about it, to ask questions, you know, to write in. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we do have a strong young people who, when it came down to it, they did get out there and vote, but did they really understand? They you know, didn't. I think it was our generation that was pushing them. And come on, y'all ready? Y'all, y'all, no, we need you. We need you to vote. You know, taking the young kid boys and and guy girls on ones on the corners and stuff, taking them to make sure they voted because we knew the importance. But do they? But the thing about it is, you know, we can push and tell them, oh, this is what you need to do. But we have to, as elders, we need to say the why behind it. Exactly. Because I always try to, you know, tell my child the why behind something. And I make sure I put this, you know, in my, you know, with my manage, you know, my team as a manager, I let them know the why behind it. Because if you keep telling someone to do something, that can be an issue. Like you're just telling them to do something. They're like, oh, well, they're just telling me. But why do I have to do it? Why is it so, so important? So we need to make sure that if we're telling them something, we need to say the why behind it I and, and, make, and let them understand the why. And then if they have questions, just go a little bit deeper. Right. No, absolutely. I totally, I totally agree. Hi, Liz. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Erin. I'm really. How are you doing you tonight? Doing? Hey. Good, good. Talking this about is, some this important is Elizabeth, things. Our, our website content manager. Thank you for joining. I saw you in the queue. And once again, I'm going to stress to our viewers, I see people making comments in the chat. If you want to be a part of the conversation, please go on to the link that, that Liz put out there in the comments. And I will bring you up here live to give your opinion and, and on any topic that we're discussing. So you want to say something, Liz? Are you frozen? I think there she's. A, I think she's a little frozen. Are you frozen? There you go. Can you hear me? I think she's a little frozen. So okay. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is because uh, we can talk. See all, all these topics. We're going. We we giving them a little snippets because like all the topics we can talk about forever, right? Absolutely. Um, because it's so much. It really is. But once again, guys, thank you so much for joining. Um, You're welcome and talking about this stuff. So our next topic is we're going to talk about is canceled culture. And mm -hmm. so I know you guys know from the news, from social media about 
so many people, um, the, the list is long, but so many people getting canceled because of what they said, uh, what they did. Uh, for an example, uh, what is his name? Um, Dave Chappelle, but he's back on top now. But at one point he was canceled because of a joke he made about um, the, the gay community. My yeah. thing is comedians, for real, for real, comedians, and even with Will Smith getting canceled because of him smacking Chris Rock, comedians kind of get, my personal opinion, they kind of get a pass because that's what they do. They talk trash, right? Mm -hmm. So so I, I would I would assume, I would assume that they would kind of get a pass on some things. Now I do agree with before I let you ladies give your opinion, but I do agree with the council culture, but it has to be, um, I guess, a one by one basis because some mm -hmm. things don't be that deep. And it's like, come on, y'all, like, get over it. It ain't that deep. It ain't that bad. Let's let's move on. But these celebrities have to understand and realize that when you are in that status, Everybody is looking at you. You you are a, a um, example, especially not only to the youth, but even some of the older people. Like everybody is looking at you. Pe they, what you wear, then then we want to go buy it. You know, so it's like you're in that limelight. It's a part of the job. Period. It's a part of the job. So, what you ladies think about that? You want to go first, Ken? Well, I, I believe. <laughs> I believe they get canceled, but money talks. As soon as they 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 come back, they do. America is so forgiving. Like we're such a forgiving people. Like all a lot of those celebrities, they do things and they come back maybe a few years, they go away for a moment, but people really embrace them. They come back and, and make money. Like Will Smith. He won't be, he won't be away long. He's been back. He's yeah. Like, yeah, he has a movie like he, coming out soon. Yeah, he'll make another movie that'll make millions of dollars. Everybody will pay to go Everybody see will forget about what he did. It, they ain't going to forget. They ain't going to yeah. forget. But no, they're not going to forget at all. They mm -hmm. won't forget, but they'll they'll push it under the rug, you know? Well, like. But with comedians, I mean, we look for that rawness. We look for those types of jokes. And then when we're on a hot topic like that's involving the gay community and you know it's, it's a little sensitive when you're making jokes like that you do have to like i don't want to say take a stand and maybe not push because you know at that time the the topic is sensitive but everybody looks for that though everybody looks and wants to laugh at the joke but then on the on the other end, they want to condemn them and say something about it. Like, oh, you shouldn't have said that, but you're laughing in the background now. You know, right. so I don't, I mean, that's, uh, it's a little touchy, but yeah. I don't know. They're still going to love them. They I still want to, they know. are. They're, we're the most forgiving people. <laughs> yeah. It's a little, it's, well, it's I mean, touchy. I, I, guess it's, I, 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 I don't topic. know. The most is different. No, that's because that, that's, that was a physical assault. He did so. I mean, that's a physical assault. You know, yeah, I don't. You yeah. know, you're saying six and stones might hurt my what's what six and stones might break my bones, but names will never hurt me. So, so your words, people get angry, but it don't physically hurt you. I mean, he physically I humiliated just think it a man a, in front of millions. A different way. I mean, I know it's old news. But I think it just could have been done a different way because at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure they have a history. So my thing is, okay, you, you made a joke. You didn't like it. You seen your wife didn't like it. All right, let me holler at you in the back. Let me, you know, come on, let's just, if I got up on set, come on, let's just go in the back real quick. Like if you wanted to do something that's so big, but it, I don't know. It just well, what's, that what's more relevant today is Kanye West. So he has a whole okay. timeline of comments and things that he had rant over. So mm -hmm. one October 3rd, it says, Wes, Candace Owens, and at least one model wear shirts with White Lives Matter. 
written on them on what's we Yeezy's fashion show in Paris. The Southern Poverty Law Center says the term is associated with a neo-Nazi group with the same name that was founded a racist racist response to the civil rights movement, Black Lives Matter. Um, and on October, the, what is it? October, I believe the 9th? No, uh, I think it was earlier than that, October the 6th. West publicly complained about the contract with Adidas to make Yeezy products. Adidas says that it's not putting its long-standing relationship with West under review. And then in Kanye's response, he writes on Instagram, F out really long, Adidas. I am, a, I am Adidas. Adidas raped and stole my designs. First of all, he's not Adidas because Run DMC is Adidas. <laughs> so he, he, he's not Adidas. That's number one. And, and his um, mind is. Yeah, I was about to say. His mind is. Kanye's mind. mind. He been he selling those whole lot, He got a whole <laughs> lot going on in that mind. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but does it give him the, you know, like, everybody everybody says that since his mom passed, that he's never been right. They've been saying that for years. Because yeah. he was so close to his mother when she mm -hmm. passed. You can just tell if you go back to him when she passed, you just see yeah. him just like, I mean, he was doing his thing. Like, don't get me wrong. He's very brilliant. He and just was there for the every day. single moment of his life. Mm -hmm. every but moment. Yeah. something's wrong. And mm -hmm. the people that are close to him need to have a sit down with him. Like, because so, I used to watch these interviews with him and how blatantly arrogant and disrespectful he can be like i get it if you want to have your like say, say what you need to say but just because you, you think you're bigger than you know who you are like just remember it can be taken away just like that did no, you guys watch, did you guys watch the um interview with i think his name is piers morgan yes yes oh my goodness yes. that's interesting he yes. dropped he, he made some points in there Kanye made some valid points. Absolutely. He, he's Ooh. brilliant. He's brilliant. But he this, brilliant. my thing is, he it's is just brilliant. the way about it. Like, I just don't, I don't understand. I guess I would never understand. If you had watched that, that interview, watch it. It's something. It's in disrespect at times he and like the arrogancy he of what he does. Way. But he, he dropped some, he dropped some stuff that I was like, oh, okay. I mean, he had right. a documentary he on Netflix that explained his transition in life, like how he started as an artist and um, and just as, you know, who he wanted to aspire to be, like how he started as a producer and then mm -hmm. tried to transition into an artist and he wasn't being respected as such. So he pretty much had to advocate for himself a lot. Um, and then once he finally got like seen and everything like that, they kind of show clips of him and his mom and like him with family or friends and everything. And he's kind of always had that personality, but she, it seemed like, was able to kind of check him or at least mm -hmm. make him reflect about the actions that he took. Like, mm -hmm. okay, okay, Kanye, that didn't work. So wh what do you think should happen now, kind of? And I guess he doesn't really, either doesn't have that or doesn't choose to listen to that kind of um, advice anymore. Doesn't have that individual to just be like, hey, like, let's snap a little bit back into reality and just be cautious about the words that you say. People look up to you. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I right. think I think you said he is that. a genius, though. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's very brilliant. Mm -hmm. He's very, very, very yeah. creative. I mean, I know I love this music and the things that he, I still do to a degree. Um, some some of it be too far fetched, but um, <laughs> I do love it. Like it's that artistry is very much still there. Um, mm -hmm. right. But he definitely is just somewhere else mentally sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's it's a shame, and people see that, and I I think um, he just goes overboard sometimes. You know, um, how he feels about Adidas, okay, that's fine. You know, um, I I can forgive that one. That's no big deal to me. But the whole White Lives Matter? No. I I mean, what's, the, what's that know, all about? I, I think he really sets out to do this, to have people having conversations about him. Mm -hmm. Like, 
and he'll tell you i'm i'm the greatest influencer i'm this and i'm that so he he really is doing what he sets out to do every media outlet is talking about him oh, absolutely um, like he like we I, are the real right. recognized reels on radio <laughs> right i mean I'm, oh, he, he is strategically doing this for a purpose we don't know what his purpose is no one knows what's going on in that mind of uh kanye you know <laughs> or ye but um he he's doing what he needs to do for whatever his next step is whatever you know wherever he's moving to because mm -hmm. honey anywhere you go on the on youtube anywhere people are talking about kanye yep that's right <laughs> And so I have one of our viewers, Carol Burns. She says, never walk in the council of the ungodly, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. So that's, that, my that's mom. just so, so true. Uh, that's my mom. Mama got on here. Thank you for that. But so I, I don't know. It's like he's he's coming at Shaq. He's coming at Diddy. He's coming. At, like, there's no reason for you to be coming for anybody else. You know what I mean? There's no reason for you to worry about anybody else's business. You know, there's worry an end about game to all this. There's an end game. He's it, he, yeah, sure. he's playing oh, yeah. chess. He's yeah, playing. Yeah. He knows exactly what he's doing, and we will see the end game real soon. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna say, like, I think mm -hmm. that um he consistently and i mean just from the start of like him as a producer and artist you can see it how he pushed against societal norms mm -hmm. and i think in his mind to a to a degree that's what he's doing like pushing against whatever society is saying like if we're talking about him if we're whatever our opinion may be that's good in his mind because it's like okay cool you're pushing against this normality that has been forced upon us or we have like naturally transitioned into because of the powers that be that are in charge in government office and things like that. So I think he's trying to port, push against that. I mean, you can see that with the creation of his own school, mm -hmm. um, the church that he's created and, and things of that nature. Right. And, and no, right, like so many things are going on, like, like offset, you know, people will, they'll hit on what happened or, you know, it's a loss, but everybody goes right back to Kanye. Yeah, you know, right. things are going on, but every media outlet will go right back to something he said or did. Mm -hmm. Right. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so once again, you know, but but the, at, at the end of the day, I think we are we are becoming so sensitive about every single thing that's going on in a world. And some things is just not that deep. I, I, I don't even remember what even the situation with Whoopi Goldberg, who they took off for a minute for on a view because she said, you know, that's something. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I mean, it, it's just, it's a lot, it's, the, it's a list of people who, who've been, they call it, of course, the cancel culture, but it's, mm -hmm. it's a list of people who have been canceled. Um, mm -hmm. And that goes right into mental health discussion because Kanye absolutely have some mental issues going on with him and that's why he rants and raves about different things and and i think he's he wants that attention as much mm -hmm. as it seems like he he's frustrated about it it on the flip side it seems like he he used for for that attention um and he he definitely needs some kind of psychological evaluation some help counseling because he is a genius and i i don't i want the best for him i don't want to see him go down you know um uh and, and we need to lift him up but he needs to want to, to to get help himself if he doesn't see that he has an issue that'll be the problem because he needs to sit down with somebody some therapist and really hash it out if it has to do with his mom he needs to he needs to talk that out you know um for his kids sake you know he got yeah. children and and they're looking at him. he kind of touched on it a little bit in um in that interview i was talking about earlier um about his mental health and he really admits that he has you know some issues but he's i just, but is he I just help with them 
he has the one to help. He has, and there's some, there's some awesome professionals out there that he, he has the money to go to the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Man is not ready. He's mm -hmm. that's out to do. If you're not ready to receive it, then I there's mean, no it's not going to work. So right. I, just yep. think, I just pray that, you know, whenever he's ready, cause we only see a little bit of it, right. even though we may right. seem like a lot, we only see a little. So I'm pretty right. sure behind the scenes and, you know, things that, you know, we truly don't see on social media could, could and you everything like that. Where poor Kim Kardashian has to go through. <laughs> well, I mean, that's exactly. So, I mean, we only see a little bit of it. So at the end of the day, you know, the people around him need to, if they're not stepping up already, like I said, if he's not willing to receive it and they are stepping up saying, look, man, you know, I want to assist you. I want to help. Let's talk. Let's, you know, do it, you know, away from the media, away from, you know, Instagram, Twitter, whatever else. And he's not ready to receive it. It's not going to work. Mm -hmm. He's just going to be him. Yeah. So until then, you know, we just have to, I guess, do what we do and look and talk prayer. about it. Just keep the keep them in prayer. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Prayer is the key to everything. Yeah. So, and that, that goes into then social media. How do y'all feel about social media and how it has caused a lot of issues with basically, because we, we wouldn't know half of this stuff. You know, remember we used to have beepers. We used to, we, mm -hmm. we wouldn't know half of the things that we know because of social media outlets, you know, that we can just get mm -hmm. on. I mean, I wish it was just a positive space of connecting with your family, you know, promoting yourself, you know, all the joys of stuff, but it has caused chaos. It has caused um, fights among young people, um, people getting killed because they said something on social media, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, you can, you can say, you can have the, remember back in the day was he say, she say, so you didn't really know if it was true because it was a he said. Now you look at the post and you can see, oh, they talking trash. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is, has gotten us to gum as well. But let's talk about social media and how you perceive social media to be. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. So for me, for social media, um, when I see it in, you know, the young people that I'm around, I mean, it influences everybody. Let's let's keep right. all the way real. Like it influenced from young to old. Uh, we like to use it sometimes as an outlet, but at times, um, it's it's hard. It's hard because it could be good. It could be bad. I just think that, you know, if you have young people around you, you got to talk about it. Like everything is not real on social media. Right. They have to understand right. that. Like even with adults, like just because you see, um, I don't know, you, you see this fine, you know, sister, this fine brother on there and everything looks so good and everything looks so bad, you know. And you're like, oh, I want to be just like that. You don't know what's behind the scenes. So, mm -hmm. you know, I just think. It's a, it's a good except for thing. me and Tone Loke. <laughs> listen here, listen here. But I'm just telling the truth. Like you know, we want to use it for right. positive, you know, information and positive output, just having mm -hmm. fun. But then you also see the negative side, you know, negativity on there when people just want to go out and just say racist things and just have that outlet. I mean, it's freedom of speech and freedom to do whatever you need to do because you can surely unfollow and block and do whatever. But we just have to make sure that we're telling our people that, listen, everything on here is not real. Mm -hmm. Let's just have our own mind and then, you know, either learn from it or not. You know what I mean? So exactly. I don't know. It's just. I, I, believe, I believe we should all detox from it because mm -hmm. it's addictive. It's very addictive. It, it um it consumes people's minds. People mm -hmm. sit and literally scroll all day long okay. at yeah. their jobs mm -hmm. and when they come home from work and mm -hmm. it's, it's an addiction and it's so bad and i wish we could go back i was talking to my daughter the other day about even we, we talked about celebrities how remember when there was a mystery 
with 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 your um with the celebrities like Prince and 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 Diana Ross and people like that. You didn't know what was going on with them. You only right. you followed you followed them. You went to their shows and it was just a ama amazing. You didn't want to know what was going on in her love life. Okay, she might have been with this one or that one, and you heard about it, and that was it. But they give mm -hmm. us too much information, and everybody's all up in it. I, I think right. they just give too much, you know, mm -hmm. and, and our children. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They can't read. Not just the kids. I mean, they me. Can't read, write, before think. Before the kids. Huh? I said they can't said what? read, write, or think because oh, right. they consume mm -hmm. on social mm -hmm. media for hours. Um, I'm a therapist. Some, and I'm a children's therapist. So sometimes. When my kids walk in for a therapy session, the first thing I do is I greet them. How you doing? How was your day? I do a check-in. And the next thing I do is I ask for their phone. And when I ask for their phone, some of them are on their phones for 19 hours a day. There are 24 oh. hours in a day. And 19 right. of them, they were on the cell phone. That's wow. crazy. Wow. So that is crazy. And, and 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 I majority of the children and their parents when I talk to them I can't get them off the phone. Take it, you bought it. <laughs> well, I think right. social media should. I mean, because you know it, it's like an addiction of any kind. You know, drugs, whatever. Like people are addicted, food, wh whatever your addiction may be. My food. We should be an advocate <laughs> for social media to shut down a couple hours a day. Then nobody can be on it. You know but what I mean? That's money. It's back to money. Mm -hmm. The advertisement yeah, I... and things like that, they're not gonna do it. It's, right. it's money. No, you're right. They're not gonna do it. And, and wait, and oh. let's talk, let's talk about um how this is it draws us in. But Linciago, how many of our kids they see the entertainers? They can't can they spell it. Can they spell it? Right. They can't afford it <laughs> because the entertainers they go and get it. Or how many people mm -hmm. will spend five hours, put an outfit together just to go on there and get the right angles? They didn't even go mm -hmm. nowhere. They didn't even have right. a destination. But they, <laughs> but you you thought they went somewhere. You thought right. they went, went somewhere out the house, you know? You're but right. they did. They just did angles and looked real cute. Girl, where was you? Nowhere. They dressed up. <laughs> This is what I mean is that it's the good or bad. It's the good or bad. Because yeah. I like I have an ongoing joke at work. When I see little bad kids coming to a financial institution and the parents don't do nothing, I'd be like, oh, I blame social media because they think that mess is okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I that that's my mm -hmm. ongoing joke. Like it's like, okay, the parents aren't getting with them when they're in the place of business. I can only imagine what they're doing out in the street. So it's just right. like I just it's it's good or bad. Like, I mean, you know. It's just with anything. You just need to talk to your kids and you know prayer. be mindful. Prayer, girl. But, this country, yeah. this we 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 definitely need prayer. And and I'm mm. guilty of it too. Sometimes my husband says, "Get off that phone." Like I you know. always be yeah. like, Get "Off that phone, be, be quiet." Well, and, well, and so, what I, I do? What I put the phone a far away, yep. so I can read, and so my brain will do other things. I like out of sight, out of mind. Another thing I do is sometimes I'll just leave it in my little pocketbook or fanny pack and I won't touch it because it's so tempting. To but I don't have a house on. phone. So if it's an emergency with my kids, I got to have my phone there. Like, so. Like, they'll live. <laughs> I think they'll be dying. Like, I check it. <laughs> like, like, I won't, like, just not check it for, like, hours and hours. But I'll give myself a break. I'll give myself a break. And, I'll give myself a break. And, I'll, and, and what happens is when I'm able to give myself a break, I'll do other things that I enjoy. I love to read. Books are one of the oh, things that I used to love books. I used to read a book a week. Now, with okay. social media, I haven't been doing that. So what I had to do right. was take my phone and put it across the room, far mm -hmm. away, so I could do other things. And I, you know what I used to do? And if, if the pandemic messed it up, but I'm going to start back. I used to go on cruises 
because I didn't buy their Wi-Fi package and I had no social media and I loved okay. it. <laughs> I mean, I still was taking pictures now. Don't get me wrong. Going to cruise, like, y'all. Going to cruise <laughs> once a month, so we don't go on social media. <laughs> <laughs> on Franchella. <Right. laughs> so before we go to the next topic, Liz, I'm gonna let you you say something because you are you 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 represent the younger generation about <laughs> social media. How how do you feel about it? I mean, I agree with Erica. I feel like it's a it's a give and take. It's a good and bad side, just like with anything in life. And it really is up to either the parent or guardian to guide their child and allow them to see and be aware of, you know, what they're looking at. Like, just let them know, like, that does not reflect your reality and, you know, the way that you need to move in this world all the time. Um, right. you can look on there as, you know, an outlet, connect with your family and friends and, and maybe just find things that are entertaining, but also understand that whatever you see, you need to apply your own perspective and question, question it. Because, um, if you don't, I agree, you do get kind of wrapped up and lost in it all. I know that I've had to detox from social media. I just went incognito a few times <laughs> and just did not jump on there and then don't have um I intentionally don't have notifications for like my DMs or or anything like that to my phone. So I don't get anxiety because you can get anxiety from that. That's the reason why I kind of walked away from it. Um because you get this develop this anxiety about oh, you know, especially if you're like me, which is I don't like to let things pile up. So <laughs> I'll get anxiety like, oh, I got a few messages. I need to answer back. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I don't. Right. I mean, life is going to continue. Everything is going to be fine. You can step away your, from your phone for an hour or so um, and get things done in real life <laughs> and, and also live your life and enjoy those moments because time goes by fast. And before you Absolutely. know it. Before you know it, it's going to be too late. So, no. definitely, and also, yeah, and also getting caught up in the likes. Like I yes. had adults say, "Oh, they're not, they're not liking my stuff," or like somebody at work was just like, "Oh, I read all my comments and on other people's posts," and I'm like, <laughs> "Read other people's post comments? Like it's not that deep. Like why?" Oh, I'm yeah. like, "Okay, if that's what you do. I mean, you know, it is what it is, but." You know, like a lot of people get caught up in the likes and, you know, people are out there looking anyway. They're not going to like every single thing, but they're going to look. Mm. Oh, yeah. But, but let me tell you, my they don't tell you. Oh, I think they didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but, let, let, but let me tell you this, though. I I, I, I do get irked when. I know so, you do. Know <laughs> okay, you but no. Listen, listen. Well, my personal post. I'm fine because I have, you know, thousands of, of, of friends. And if you scroll, I don't know, but I am a part of certain groups where you see who saw your posts. And one example is my family posts. If I can't get likes from my family, like that just irks me. I'm sorry. It irks me. <laughs> you have, uh, <laughs> even the other group, if you can't get likes from your own people that you putting on there and you, and you all a part of the one sisterhood and can't get no likes from that group is only, it's only could be only 25 people in this group and y'all just scrolling. What's the point? You I know, if I you can't like get support. Time. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it at time. Nope. <laughs> my face didn't look right in the picture, so I'm not going to like it. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just... When I was in high school, uh, MySpace was a big thing. And when I went right. to college, Facebook had not been out for too long. So it was just, it's really been very intriguing to see um, the progression of the social media platforms mm -hmm. from, right. you know, when I first saw it on MySpace and, and how it's transitioned now and, and how much it, it influences, like, if not our personal lives, just the way the world rules, <laughs> yeah. just the way that the world navigates mm -hmm. and rules and how uh, cancellation culture for people who have uh, careers that have, um, rely heavily on social media is a threat for them to a degree yeah. because um, they, ha and like you guys said earlier, like they have to be super mindful about what they say and almost to the extent of being um, politically correct. And I feel like that that's where we, fall short on ourselves because we should be human to a degree. We should allow people to 
to be human, make mistakes and forgive them if if forgiveness is warranted in this situation. But yeah, social media is interesting. I miss my space. <laughs> Do it for the bad. Remember that? What'd you say? Do it for the, the vine. Remember that little girl that said, do it for the vine. Do oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Vine. The oh, vine. R.I.P. Vine. <laughs> oh, we lost. So yeah. what? Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah we lost. You put your camera back on. <laughs> hey, man. Put your camera oh. back on, Kim. Any, anywho. Um, so, hey, I mean, I, I told you we can, we can talk about stuff forever. Um, so we're going to jump right into gun violence. And uh, we can't tap on this too long because I see we winding down. I'm telling you, these, these conversations go so fast and everybody has some wonderful um, feedback. But gun violence, did y'all know uh, just this weekend, nine people were shot in Kensington? Wow. At, at a bar. It was a yes, massive in shooting. Center. Yep, near Kensington and Allegheny. Um, oh, it's it's just wild, and, and prayers are extended to the people who have been affected by this for sure. Um, that area just automatically looks very shady. Um, and I always think about you know the regular the residents, the non the people that work nine to five that has to live in those spaces and deal with All the of overflowing mm -hmm. of everything. Really, I mean, mm -hmm. I used to go somewhere in that area, so I would have to catch a sixty. But I no longer feel safe in doing that because oh, yeah. it's just so much going on. Like when it you're is. at that bus stop, it really is. Yeah, but that that it shooting is. was and, crazy. And they was targeted. They said. Mm. Oh, 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 that's what I, I didn't. I didn't really. I didn't hear about it, so I can't speak on that. It's just yeah. really, our black men just aren't seeing thirty. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's so bad. It really is. But, but did you hear that it was a sheriff? Uh, uh, let me see if I found find that and, and read. Oh, the, but there, the there Rock was Girl. a. Are you talking about Yeah, the Rock Girl shooting Rock Girl. of them, them kids. Oh, that he sold the guns. Yes. yes. Where, did, where yeah. are these guns yep. coming from? You know? Mm -hmm. that, but, but that, I, I did see that. It was a. Um, it, it was a letter that I read that somebody wrote, but they signed it as the KKK. And it was so true and to the point where the things that they were saying, like, look at y'all dumb behind, killing each other, blase, blase. I, I'm going to post that again because it was just so on point and, and, and it saddens me because it's like, you know, we are killing each other, you know, black yeah. on crime is a big issue and i i really don't have the resolution for it you know what i'm saying besides remember back in the day they did stop and frisk like you yeah. want to find these guns in the car like i don't mind at this point because some of these if you're not doing nothing you'll be good but if you're doing something then you need to be locked up and but i think mm. the cops are also afraid at this point and i yes. would be too well, yeah, I would be if I was a cop. I, my head would be like this. I ain't seen nothing because I ain't trying to get shot. You know, they mm -hmm. are, they only not afraid that they're going to get shot, but they also afraid that if they do something, they're get something happens, they're going to get prosecuted for it, or mm -hmm. you know, they didn't do their job, or they overly did that. In some cases, yes, we we know that they take it to another level, but. There are also some good cops out there. They're not all Absolutely. bad. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so I, I'm, 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 you know, my my nephew was killed in 2021, and so that weighs heavy on my heart and mm -hmm. miss him dearly. And actually, I'm going to bring him to the show. Hold on for a second. <laughs> Hold on for a second. He stays right in my office. This is my oh. my nephew, Gio, and he stays mm -hmm. right here so that I can talk to him every day. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so you know, I mean, I, I I just pray that we can have some kind of resolution with this gun violence because I, I always am afraid for my husband. I'm telling him, like, I it wouldn't matter to me because I know your hands is like that, you know what I'm saying. 
But you don't know. They're not fighting like that. They're fighting like that. No, mm -hmm. exactly. Exactly. And you say they're one thing that's wrong, more. and it's just like, oh, I'm gonna get my gun. So you're just, you know, you want to be protecting yourself. So you get a license to carry, but then if you're just shooting at anything at any time, you just become just like them. Right. So yeah. you just have but to they're, be But they're not taught, like, you know, back in the day, the gangsters or whatever, if they wanted to, to off you, they killed you. They they shot their target. These younger ones, they don't know how to shoot the problem. They don't, yeah. they just spray in and going like this and closing their eyes and just everybody that's around them. You know, mm -hmm. and and that's it. I don't condone it at all, but it's like, listen, you're not even hitting your target. Like, what's going on? You know, you hitting everybody else around you, and it they're sucks. And I can talk about this for days. And out there committing most of these uh, crimes out in Philadelphia, it's so sad. It's really mm -hmm. sad. Yeah. And, and the is, young, it really is. the young people, they they can't even go outside. They're stuck in their yeah. houses. So they so now we yeah. had the pandemic. Now we have this violence where they're literally stuck and confined in their homes. Remember mm -hmm. when young men went to the basketball court and they were able to just kind of let off some steam and mm -hmm. and kind of you know get some exercise. These young people can't do that anymore. They're literally no, they stuck can't in the house. younger ones. They're stuck in the house on social media. Right. Or the little kids, they can't go out and, and they can. little girls jump rope, play high skies, play football. They can't, they can't do they can't it. Go They're out. scared to death to let them out the homes. And and so I, I pray that I, I my I ask that everybody somehow, some way get involved in mm -hmm. and 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 trying to, to resolve the violence. That that is plaguing, you know, not only our country, but of course, you know, our our cities of Philadelphia. Um, yeah. And Tony says it doesn't matter anymore. You have to be ready at all times. Be on point at all times. Don't sleep on on these young boys. You can't sleep on them. You know, I just saw a video where the, a young girl was pumping her gas, and they pulled up in the car, and they would try to jump inside of her car so they can steal her car. She jumped through her window. And so mm. the, the, the message was, when you get out to pump your gas, lock your doors. Don't keep your your, your driver's side open. You know what I mean? Because mm. most times you keep your keys in there or you keep it running mm. or whatever you do. Mm. It's like you do have to be on point. You have to have eyes all over the place. And mm. you cannot sleep on anything. And that's they the one time you cannot be on your phone. Yeah. 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 Yeah, in Jersey it pumped big ass. Yo, they need it, to buy over Jersey still. Their gas. <laughs> <laughs> Pay five dollars, come on the bridge and get your gas. Come on, <laughs> it. Pay my life. No, you say. Right. <laughs> it's worth it if it's no, you say. Absolutely. And ride on back like I got my gas. Yeah, you have to be hyper alert. I mean, I also think communication, <laughs> the lack of communication between and transparency um yes, between right. the community. And, um, you know, the people, the powers that be, the people that are in charge, attorney general's office, police department, the mayor, um, there is definitely a lack of transparency there and yeah. also trust. And and so right. we have to work on trying to figure out how we rebuild that. But also it can't be anything half bait because that's that's also been the issue, like proposing ideas that are essentially half baked and. And it's taking forever to come to a resolution. Like people are dying now. Why can't we, um, you know, come together and figure it out? And I'm not saying we like, you know, us, right. but the people that are in power and community leaders and such and actually have good intention. Because, I mean, I voted today and I thought, OK, I do my research on every candidate um, uh, so that way I'm prepared. But I was looking at the ballot and I'm just like, you know. There's parts of this person that that are that are good for based off of what they're saying. Mm -hmm. and God willing is true. And then and go down the list and it's the same. And it's just like, hey, we're at a stage now where where are our options? Like mm -hmm. <laughs> who is actually advocating for us um, with good intention right. and, and wants actual resolution to this? Or is this just um, a bullet on your resume? 
to help you to get into legislators or get into Congress or something right. like that. Of course. So it's Everybody just, has it's just a agenda. Everybody yeah, has their own agenda. agenda. But you just touched on something, um, Liz, and we're going to move on. But you touched on something how everybody is afraid. I don't know if you read in news about those twins, the boy and the girl who the parent, the, the mother had them in a the basement tied up and was mm. not was feeding them feces and all kind of stuff. And they escaped and they were knocking on people's doors asking for help. I mean, they had no clothes on. It was freezing outside. And this white it was a black kids. Uh, twins, a girl boy, skinny as mm. I don't know what you could see oh, wow. their arms, they was tied. Everybody was afraid. Nobody wanted to open their door for them or call oh. anybody. They kept you, you hear mm. them saying, Go away. And this woman finally wow. brought them wow. in and, and fed them and called the authorities. We are we are afraid, you know what I mean? Because you don't know people trying to scam you right. or anything. Right. It's a shame, you know. Back in the day, mm. people used to leave their doors open, you know. Mm. Now you gotta have millions of locks on them, you know, mm -hmm. and I wonder, uh, Shelly, she, she put in the chat, there are no constructive activities to accompany their time. Whatever happened to community centers like the PAL, YMCA, mm -hmm. uh, YWCA, we, it, it's all gone, you know? Um, and if you do but, have them, it's not constructive. Yeah. Not right. Nothing. If you do see them, they're not constructive. They're just or, there and people are just sitting there and in the urban community of Philadelphia, there are some of those programs available. However, when they have to walk from one block to the I next block, and mm -hmm. if there's some kind of gang warring going on, you don't want your kid to get caught up in a gang war going to, uh, you know, to play basketball or to go mm -hmm. to try to do something fun. They could easily get caught up in that gang war that's going on. So that's the issue in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you, or you ladies. may not you have the structure. Have, just you may not have that exactly. parent structure. You mm -hmm. just may not have it for, I mean, I was raised by a single mom. She couldn't always, you know, show up for, for everything um, because right. she had to work to put food on the table. Mm -hmm. So you, you may not even trust your kid to go out. And the only resolution in your mind at the time would be to just stay in the house. But mm -hmm. then that affects mental health. Um, so I feel like yeah. just being on social media and being within your own thoughts and not really socializing with other people. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it does go back to the structure as well. It's just so many components to it. And Absolutely. we just have to have like a, a thorough, transparent conversation to reach some resolution because exactly. life should not be this easy to take. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ladies. We're going to move on. First and foremost, um, our, our next show is the second Tuesday in December. So what we're not going to um, talk to you guys before Thanksgiving. We want to say a happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your good food. But I want to play a game with these ladies. I want to ask you some questions, okay? And you guys tell me which one is in and which one is out. You have a choice. So for Thanksgiving dinner, would you rather have turkey or ham? Turkey. Ham. Ham. <laughs> ham. Ham is not ham. for Thanksgiving. Ham. ham is for Christmas. I've heard that, but I can't Both. resist ham Both. over turkey. Fry up that turkey. Of course. Of course. <laughs> ham. <laughs> Okay, how about this? That's my favorite holiday. Don't be taking that turkey away. <laughs> uh, solid yams or mash yams? Oh no, you give me no solid yams. Don't be giving me no mash yams. That's a that could be on a on a table, but as a I don't bowl. even yeah with, with with or without marshmallows, girl. Man, the mash marsh with the ma marshmallows inside. Without That's fine. Grandfather always raised me. We had them candy yams, them good whole, like you know, cut them mm -hmm. in half. You know, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. With, the, with the cinnamon, we, the we vanilla, do mash. The we do mash. I'm gonna have to make some, and you make some of yours, and we're gonna throw it out because we we'll put the marshmallows in it. It. on top and trying to brown them a little yeah. bit. No, I need me some some real yams. Make that soft. Put it over them yams. <laughs> Don't be okay, chopping okay. no pineapples, no orange juice. We don't want none of that. Pecan. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like mash. I would say I would say mash, and um, I'm sweet potato. 
So I I'll do yams if there's no other option, but I prefer sweet potatoes. So do I. Sweet potatoes, okay. I I see Darlene Smith says no marshmallows. No um, marshmallows. Tony said with marshmallows. That's right, baby. He said ham too. Oh, you know we're like on the same page. You know it. <laughs> and okay, what about what about white white or brown gravy? Brown brown. Brown gravy. Brown gravy, because you're making it from the dripping. So you yes. need to season that yeah. bird up. So we're going to be a little bit, you know, tan. Right. Yep. I agree. Yeah. I, I, I right totally white. agree. <laughs> right. I'm good on the <laughs> white gravy. from? That does All right. Well, wait, wait, wait. So collard greens or green beans? Collard greens. Collard greens. Both? Both. Yeah, really both. both? Yeah. With that smoked jerky both. meat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. Both. Well, okay. okay. How about, how about Pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie? We put that pumpkin pie off the table. We do not do that. Put that sweet potato pie right on that table. We don't do no pumpkin down here. Sweet potatoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, right now, y'all gonna get mad at me though, but I'm I'm sorry. I love this. Stove top stuffing or homemade stuffing in a bird. Homemade stuffing. First of all. I don't, don't put my homemade stuff in the bird. Don't be putting your stovetop stuff in the bird. I don't put it in the bird, but I don't put it in the bird either. But I did it. Stovetop is the bomb. I'm sorry. It got all the seat. And sometimes it's better than some people's uh stuffing. I'd be like, uh, I don't think I've had homemade stuffing. All right. All right. We're going to have y'all. I don't think I have. I think I've always, if I did, I wasn't aware. But um, but yeah, stovetop. I'm not a big stuff person. Yes. We better not have no stovetop at no Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, no. no franchise. <laughs> no stovetop. No no it don't gotta be nothing like with no meat in it. I don't do all that, but homemade right. stuffing. Yeah. Homemade um cornbread. No, stuffing. it's too much. It's too much. Ooh, that's too so much. Good. That's too much. Listen, no, that's that's not stove top. Top. we're not doing no stovetop <laughs> stuffing, but no, no butter, no, butter no. whatever you're doing. No. <laughs> Tony, we're gonna make you some real stuffing. Uh, yeah, I know what never They will call Tony, me. We call it like that. Lord, my right, grandmother was over in the green. What's that? My grandmother was over in the green. One last question, guys, before we, before we go. <laughs> Do you mix up your food or you eat it one by one? I eat it one by one. I eat one by one, but it depends because that gravy hit that mac and cheese, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. I was just saying that it depends on what's next to you. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's <laughs> like, I, you that's better. the only thing that can really touch. Yeah, like, but the I'm only thing that, yeah, sure. that can touch. It depends, and it depends oh. on who made it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, if not for okay. nothing, I'll put it on a different plate. Wow. Well, eat that you, right. <laughs> you know what? We don't, I, I can't. Well, before we go, I want to first of all thank you guys. You this was awesome. Our conversation was awesome. I'm hoping to have it again. There's always some topics that we can talk about. But Erica, please show Bentley. I see you got Bentley on your lap. Well, I thought he was going to start barking or whatever. So I said, let me calm him down. But he's oh, ready. Oh, oh, he's so ready. Oh, don't kiss on the lips now. Hold on. I'm out. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I he like music out. Music is, I locked him out. But I think that's right. You locked music out. out. Go get because music. Go get music. I had the, it was a time I had the mute because he was like, Aah! I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, music and Bentley had a play date. It's so adorable. It's so cute. Yes. You can find Aww. these ladies on social media. You see their names. Uh, follow them. Follow the Diamond Divas. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and being a part of our conversation. I see all of the uh, comments in the chat. I truly appreciate you guys. Please share this video. And until next time, have a happy Thanksgiving. And yes. Be safe. We out. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Be safe. I enjoy myself. Bye. See you yes. guys. Bye.